and it's gonna give her a lot of volume and a lot of movement. Um, so here we go. This is my one trick that I would give you with cutting a modern bob. I really like a crisp edge at the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna show you my special cutting technique for getting it really crisp at the bottom. What I do is I use my comb instead of my fingers to give the guideline at the bottom. It just gives you more of a crisp line and a blunt line down there rather than holding it and causing any unneeded texture. When you do a bob people have little hairs underneath their hairline and they always tend to pop out about two to three days later so here's my little trick for getting those hairs have them tilt their head the opposite way from where you're at comb down really really tight and you see all those little hairs you just follow your line and cut them off that way they don't have all those crazy hairs and they're not there to cause weird stick out areas or flips or anything like that and now they're gone Pull it out at a 90 degree angle and you see where my guideline is here is where the length of her hair is and then you're just going to start and you're going to work your way up. Kind of do a choppy cut just to give her choppy layers and you just keep going up. Now here's my last little trick for cutting the layers, well not my last trick, but a trick for cutting the layers so that we don't get a bulky ridge at the very top I'm going to start angling my fingers towards her head to try to cut off a little bit more of that bulk. All done now, so we're going to move to the front. I'm kind of going to do the same thing where you pull it up vertically and layer it, but you don't really have to worry as much about the angle, but you still want it to blend in with these layers back here. Um, so you're going to see me grab pieces from back here just to make sure that it evens up with the front. And then we're going to do a tiny little bit of um, layering on the very front, but you don't want a lot of mullety type face framing layers. Um, so we're going to try not to layer the front quite as much until we get to like the fringe area.
notes um, by Redken. It's just going to give her a little bit more PC look with it and smooth it out. And then I'm going to put a little bit at her crown just to give her a little bit more volume.